everybody this is such an exciting episode because i have been wanting to do this video for a really long time and finally found the perfect opportunity and the perfect set of wines to do it with today we are abandoning the tech sheet i'm not going to be using words like tannin or acid or even common descriptors like different fruits and the quality of these fruits instead we're going to be looking at the personalities of these wines we're going to be using things that you and I might both understand. So feelings, songs, weather, uh, pop culture reference, anything that isn't necessarily tied to what you would typically see on a wine descriptor sheet. We're gonna be talking about the Zena Crown wines today. And Zena Crown Vineyard is in the Willamette Valley in Oregon, which is a very, very famous vineyard. It's an iconic vineyard that many famous wineries, including Beaufrere and Soder, they've all used this as a single vineyard. But today, this wine is actually being broken down into little micro lots, so single blocks of the vineyard that have different identities. And so, you know, they're essentially cut from the same cloth and they're from the same vineyard, but personality-wise, they are very distinct. So I'm gonna be talking about these three wines today, the Slope, Conifer, and Sum. I hope you're as excited as I am. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And without any further ado, let's get into the wine. All right, first up is Xena Crown Slope. So how are we gonna do this? Well, there's really no rhyme or reason, just kind of do it. So for me, I stick my nose in glass like I normally do. just dropped and you get sort of these autumnal smells and this cool electric breeze but in the convertible you've got a little bit of warmth and that is what this wine feels like it feels like it's warm in the bottom and electric and cool in my face and it's kind of like zipping a little bit here you get like just a little chill and it's a little bit angular in the sense that the wind is like cutting across your face but it also feels really, really good. So this sort of mangrove vegetation just walking onto the beach so it has that sort of boardwalk wood sand a little greenness and then like ocean tide Let's see what he said get the fudge out of here i swear to god i did not look at these notes i you saw my honest reaction i didn't i did not plan this are you ready his notes Summer morning, gracefully commanding and sincere. You tell me that a wine doesn't have a personality. I'm, I'm like blown away. I can't. I can't get over it. <laughs> Nothing else to say. That was cool. Images of traditional Indian dance, 
Indian music in the background, like people just kind of celebrating and partying, but like there's something so silky and so feminine, but wild at the same time. Kind of makes you smile. Makes you want to like party a little bit. And I think this is also really important, right? I think as your, we talk about food pairing a lot. We talk about which wines go with which occasions and which dishes. And so many times, it's not necessarily exclusively about whether or not the flavors and the textures go together. I mean, they, sh they should for sure. Like, that goes without saying. But then, when you take it a step further and you start talking about wine in this way, this is a wine you would want to serve to a group of people. This is a wine that you'd want to serve at a party. This is a wine that I think would be super fun to like get down with and like have a lot of have a lot of fun and you know the, the second wine that we tasted like that summertime wine i don't know to me it, you know it, it felt like being at the beach it felt like you know a wine that when i when i came off of the beach um you know as much as it was like summer morning when i when i get home uh you know just after you like take that first shower and you know your skin kind of stings from the salt and you know maybe a little bit of sunburn that's the first wine that i'd want to i want to grab and then the first one you know i think about that as as the ex the exact experience that i'd want to enjoy that wine with that's the perfect setting you know at a bed and breakfast autumn day 6 p.m sun's just starting to set and that smell's just starting to come in the air and that's the one that that's the wine that I want to have in that moment. You can find these wines on Zena Crown website by emailing them. I'm curious what, uh, what this video makes you think about. What this, uh, does this inspire you? Does it make you want to talk and think about wine in a different way?